Today in Scratch, we're going to work on having our characters have a conversation. So kind of like a little story on the screen. And this is going to be pretty simple, and we're just going to have two characters talking to each other. And I thought this setup would be pretty funny to get that started with. So as you can see, I have Adrian and I have Player One here. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my event blocks and drag a, when the green flag is clicked, block over to both of my characters' code. Remember, when you click away from one character to another, your, your code's not disappearing, it's just staying with that character because this is object-oriented programming. So the code is staying with your character. So right now I'm clicked on player one. I would like him to kind of start out the conversation and when you have a conversation on Scratch, you're actually going to look underneath your look blocks because it's going to be a word bubble that pops up kind of like a cartoon. And we're going to use this say hello for two seconds block. We're going to use the two seconds one rather than just the plain say hello block because after two seconds, it, the, the pop-up bubble will disappear. And that's going to be really useful. So right now, it says when the green flag is clicked, say hello for two seconds. So our character is going to say hello. Well, I don't want him to say hello. I want him to scream, yeah, because he thinks he's going to score a goal. But I'm actually going to change it to three seconds so it shows up a little bit longer. So there he is screaming, yeah. And I want Adrian to say something back to that. So I'm going to have her say, oh, no, you won't score on me. And if I have her say that, both characters will speak at the same time. So there's another thing that we need to add here. We need to add what is called control blocks. We need to add a weight. So our player one says, yeah, for three seconds. So how about we wait two seconds, and as he's saying, yeah, she will say, oh, no, you won't score on me. Yeah. Oh, no, you won't score on me. See? So we're able to start having a conversation, and I think you'll start to pick up that. We're going to use these wait blocks to make our conversation go back and forth. So now I'm going to go back to my player one. I'm going to add a weight, and now I need to count my weights up. So I have a two-second wait here. Now I want him to wait four seconds so that what he had said are, will disappear, and now he's responding to her comment. I actually might need to wait four. Let's wait five to give one second in between the two. So I'm going to go back to looks, and now I'm going to say I'm going to try to right now. So, yeah! Oh, no, you won't score on me. I'm going to try to right now. And now she can wait. six seconds and she will say well I'm going to block it yeah oh no you won't score on me I'm going to try to right now well I'm gonna block it and as you can see, we waited a little bit too long for him to say, I'm going to try to right now. So let's actually only wait, let's do three seconds for this one. So your wait, you're, you're going to kind of um, play around with it a bit and just see what works best for you. Because you don't want your viewer to have to wait forever for the next thing to pop up. Okay, so there you go. That's kind of the start of how you would get a conversation going. If you continue to build a conversation that's super long, you're going to add 
weight blocks in between each and every time you're going to have to add a little bit more, a little bit more to the weight because you're waiting beyond when the green flag was clicked because otherwise without the weight blocks all of these things would be set at the exact same time and you don't want that to happen. You want there to be a conversation there where they go back and forth. Hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck giving it a shot. Let me know how it goes.